Hello, I make a, I made I made a very big video all about the EX200 flag pack changes, all the the RH RH10 changes for the EX200. Th this is about flat pack. That was a new topic introduced on the exam topics on exam objectives. So next, you're going to see me describing the updating the updating our document. What is possible a possible test that will just replicate any test that will ask you all the commands, all the procedures. You will see me do everything. If you want to see the long form, I'm going the, the, not the long form, the big, but the big one, uh, you're going to put it somewhere here or on the description, go and check it out or in my blog. Check out the detail. This is a short form of a long form on a of a longer one. Like, subscribe and comment, it helps. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Cheers, guys. What one of one that to change it affects the, the RH124. It's it's a, a flat pack um flat pack chapter. You if you want to call it like that. So there's a there's a chapter all about flat pack. And of course, it will affect the EX two hundred. Okay, that uh, that is, it's based on rel on rel on, on rel ten. We'll have a flat pack um, subject. So, in order to do that, let's update our um, our PDF. So, um, make flat pack work something like off these lines. Flat pack work. All right. And let's give some space to, to, to public rel flat pack repo. Okay. So this is the public uh, flat pack uh, right at hip repo. Uh, if you are experimenting or doing this at home, you can just uh, add whatever repo, whatever repo um, you want you want to test with. This works. This is public. So I mean, I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to update the the doc with the, all the commands. Most, for now, this is what you're going to you, we are going to do. It's to make this flat pack uh, thingy majiggy work. So let's get this out of here. There you go. Cool. Thanks first, uh, let's see if it's, let's see if flat pack is installed. So there are many ways to do this. I'm going to use this with this one. RPM RPM minus QA. Again, I have uh, some keyboard issues here, but it's my own issues, not not something you will experiment. So grab flat pack, grab flat pack. Jesus, flat pack. This is just my own problem. It should be installed for the most part. If it's not, you know how it's how it's done. DNF install flat pack, and you are off to the races. Bob's your uncle. First, uh, let's see if it's, let's see if flat pack is installed. So there are many ways to do this. I'm going to use this with this one, RPM, RPM minus QA. Again, I have uh, some keyboard issues here, but it's my own issues, not, not something you will experiment. So grab flat pack, grab flat pack. Jesus, flat pack, this is just my own problem. It should be installed for the most part. If it's not, you know how it's, how it's done. DNF install flat pack and you are off to the races. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so let's check its uh, its folders. Etc. Flatpak. There we go. It has nothing and a, 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 a file that it's empty. So it will. This is will vary depending on your system. In my system here, it's the the configuration file folder. It's empty. It has no config files. If you're using Fedora, the IBM, etc., this should be a, diff a little bit different. But we are focusing on a rel system, and for the most part, it's either empty or has. If you're if you are running uh, not Rocky like I'm like I am doing right now, but if you are running a real quote unquote real rail system, you should have one there. But that one is a paid one. Okay, you need to pay the subscription and all of that good stuff. So just move that file away. Don't delete it. Move it away. Make sure that the directory is empty because the other one that you probably have there it's paid. So you don't want to pay much less in the exam. So. They will just provide the one that will give you to to use throughout the, the exam. I'm going to was we use this one because it's it's a real one and it's free, so it, it kind of stays in theme. You can add, add any flat pack repo you want. Of course, next in the exam they are going to show you. They're going to give you um, a specific a specific um, a specific uh, repo to use. All right. So it's basically it's, it's simple. Just add a new one. Let's, let's call it uh, I don't know flat repo dot flat repo flat flat I'm okay at my notes so I don't make many mistakes I will make mistakes but I will just keep them to a minimum flat pack repo and you're going to add the one I just add to the file okay so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to ins and I'm going to paste it okay 
Um, if you want to pause it here, pause it here. I'm going to put it in the description, which switch is fine. I will save. Can open file for writing. You don't have to, you don't need to be uh, root to do this. So you should be able to add um, your own. Oh yeah, I'm on the ETC here, right? So let's let's uh, use um, let's use root here. It's on the ETC. Where am I? Yeah. So let's just uh, sudo vim student. And I just insert. I forgot I was on, on the ETC folder, so that's fine. So shift insert. So let's do flat pack remotes. It's there. We can just be more verbose, but the it's there, it's fine. It's a pretty there we go. And we have all the available packages here. Okay, I'm not and you just Type in the passwords. I will not make any cuts. Okay, you will just uh, see it right. Okay, so basically, while this while this is going in the exam, they are going just to make you create a new one. Okay, for example, you just need to vim etc etc if you want to use it system wide. Let's update this, keep this going. Flat pack. Don't put the CK. I do it, I do it all the time and run into problems. Okay. And then I just go remotes dot D and call it flat. Whatever the name. Flat pack repo. Whatever name. And then you just paste the above. Okay. Or you can also um, verify if Fastback install RPM, verify if it's installed. Installed RPM minus QA or use DNF, whatever. Grab flat pack. Okay, or use DNF if DNF is installed, whatever, whatever the case. Or DNF. I'm going to add this here so I don't forget. Uh verifies installs or use DNF. It's fine. Whatever the case. If not, DNF install flat pack. Let's put sudo here and uh, and paste the above and do flat pack remote ls um, to list all the available installable packages or if you wish you can do do flat pack remotes to get available available flat remotes and all and to get available packages flat pack packages all right cool let's go Let's not do the do or I'll forget. Okay, let's go this. Let's follow. Let's do this. Install this app. Not don't do that, LibreOffice. I want the double dash, please. Thank you. Don't correct that. Thank you. And we're going to do this. Is going to allow us to check installed flat pack pre-installed. So never mind. It's it's fine because here I don't I didn't install. I didn't install Spotify at all, so it's already it was already in my system. Don't 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 ask. And basically, that's pretty much it. And I'm not going to able to. If you want to list everything, apps and, and non apps, all the shared libraries, etc., you can do the this one. 
let's add that one uh, let's do fatback list to list to list all did i made this did i and you can do just um okay let's fix that thing there okay to install flat pack flat come on <laughs> install and whatever what whatever they ask all right coolio and you are done just uh, as i added bonus bo bonus bonus uh if you want to uninstall just do flat pack uninstall and the app you can just do for example you can just do flat pack list and do flat pack uninstall and for example this thingy here this guy there okay you just do this i'm not going to do that because i want to run it first so flat pack run uh, this will not this is this will not run because uh we are running in a non non graphical environment but it, it will just run and for obs you will just see this and it just works cool now to uninstall uninstall i will ask anything below our community is growing growing fast and growing great like subscribe and comment if you have any questions about the flatback thing or the flatback uh procedure tasks exam whatever the case let me know Whew, this is this was a long one but a very important one and very useful one for everybody in the community and every and if you want to join the community please do so like subscribe and comment come and join us and we'll have have fun together and learn together once again this was an update for the flatback uh packages on the ex100 exam and also on the RH124 training course. Like, subscribe, and comment if it really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.